Hello again. I'm in my Joy of Journal, uh, Joy of Art journal, and I'm going to be um, using my Mission Gold colors. Um, I'm going to be planning a palette of colors just because I'm in, um, I'm seriously, my mind is into uh, um, my Halloween uh, signature in my junk journal, and so I thought, why not uh, do this with colors um, in a kind of Halloweenish mode? So that's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Now, let's audition some colors and see how they work. I'm thinking. I'm going to use this indigo because um, it's a nice, so that's a nice gray. Now I want to uh, compare this to the black, the ivory black. Ah, yes. Okay. Very good. So, we've got our darks, our Halloweenish darks, and I'm thinking, I don't know whether I want yellow gold, uh, yep, sorry, yellow green, can't get my words out today, yellow green, or the olive, or both. Hmm. I'm thinking that's a little bit more Halloweenish. And some uh, old standby uh, violet. Oh, yes. That will do. And two shades. the uh, yellow orange let's try because I don't remember having used this one before so let's try the uh, uh, orange I think I'm going to lean towards that yellow orange and then <coughs> If I want a color, this will be the possibility or not. But I have another one hiding over here. I bought some extras for myself. And um, number one, Jean, which is number one yellow. Let's see what happens here. Very pretty. I'm glad I bought that. All right, and then up here, some uh, yellow gray. Love this one. So I'm thinking that's where I'm going to be going. Yes, I am. And I'll leave this over here. And I'll move this here. Get on some background. I'm going to give this paper a very, very light mist of wet and I'm going to start with some of that uh, yellow yellow gray well, that brush is not going to make me happy for this I want this Neptune Princeton Neptune number four I want this one because it will permit me to uh, spread 
to spread these colors a bit. And now I'm going to use some of that um, indigo under here. Yes, yes, there is a bit of blue in that now that you look at it. Very nice. In fact, I'm going to bring some more of that down further. Yes, I am. I'm going to spread that. This is not really watercolor paper, so it is going to buckle. That's okay. And maybe just the slightest addition of purple in it down here. I don't know why. I just, uh, I'm thinking maybe. Let's see if we can get these to blend. And drag this purple. Up a little bit. All right. Let me see if I can move this or is it uh, in, as it might be an immovable object, but let's uh, let's see. water over here so I'm going to use a, uh, uh, a thirsty brush take some of that away I'm just going to put the slightest the slightest bit of this just the slightest hint hint of this and I'm going to let that uh, and I'm just going to let that be let's see if it's going to uh, I'd like it to muddy up a little bit and yes it is if it's touching some of that purple it's certainly going to muddy up a bit how nice Halloween ideas seem to uh, not be afraid of having a little bit of mud here and there. Very nice. Okay. Soften these edges. And thirsty brush again. So I've used the um, yellow green, I'm sorry, the yellow gray, oh, good day, Carol, yellow gray, the um, indigo, I haven't used any of the uh, ivory black, haven't used any greens, used a little bit of the violet, um, some of the uh, yellow orange, and that's it for the background. Yes, that looks like it might do it. And I've got a nice bloom there, and I'm happy about that. Yes, I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to take a few moments to dry this now, and uh, I'll be back. Well, this is nice and dry, and about as flat as it's going to get. And as you can see, I was while I was uh, waiting for this to dry, I did a little practicing with my um, uh, black velvet silver 3 8 inch uh, striper uh, and I tried it in um, uh, the black, ivory black and the indigo and purple and some green and uh, I'm quite anxious to 
I'm going to, because this is a Halloween theme, I think I'm going to stick with, uh, I'm going to stick with some black. And let's just run up some thoughts here. Only a striper can do that so beautifully. I'm going to lighten this one. Not too much lighter because there was still a lot of the ivory black in there. But I'm going to mix some of the green in here. In fact, I'm going to also put some yellow green in there with some of these palette colors that are left. I don't think I'm going to uh, go over here with this. Let's just try Oh my, yes, that lighter color. Let's not break what is, you know, fix what isn't broken. And now, isn't this quite lovely the way that lighter shade cut right through cut right through the, let me get even closer, because of, this is an example of why watercolor has to be loved. Because the unexpected happens in which that uh, palette color of uh, yellow, um, yellow, green gold, um, olive green, and a little bit of um, uh, indigo mixed together, and I pulled it right up through those previous colors that were there, and look what happened. Isn't that quite something? Yes. Yes, yes. So, this is what again? I'm going to take care of that and have a think because this is liable to stay. This is liable to stay less is more. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's so pleasing and Aren't these just keepers? Well, I have decided to uh, take a little artistic license here. And right now, I'm using my Muji to highlight the edge of the watercolor. And since I really wanted to stay with my muse, because my muse has been whispering in my ear, less is more, less is more. I've uh, decided that I would look in my uh, Halloween papers, and I found this painted paper that I had made using uh, spray inks. So I liberated one of the flowers and um, did a very, very light touch of uh, pen work on there. I used my uh, Pilot G2 and my Muji just, and then I um, cut them so that I could have just a little bit of dimension. And the colors are very similar to the ones that um, I had originally picked. A little bit of the green a little bit of probably this uh, yellow uh, or yellow orange and I thought yes and I don't want to lose this I'm absolutely in love with this little with this little bit down here so I then used my uh, pilot G2 to 
just add some more loose markings. And I am um, thinking this right here, green to green, and then that swath shows. But I'm wondering in the background whether I should play up that color a little bit. But you know, first, I'm going to attach this so that anything I do here will be in relationship to this. Yes, glue coming. Just in the center here. A little bit of this uh, adhesive tech clear glue that I've had for quite a long time. I have no idea where I found that. But it's been on in this uh, studio for quite a while. And it always does it tr of the trick nicely. Whoops. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's do that. Now, Oh my. Well, in for dime, in for dollar, here we go. And you can see how I'm holding this Muji. I don't want this to be outspoken if I can help it. And I'm going to take some liberties with the shape here. And come in there. I'm thinking that's all that I'm going to do, but I am going to highlight some of these. just think that that would be a nice background for that add-on that I had no idea was going to be there until all of a sudden. It was there. Now, if I hadn't found anything like this in my uh, container that has my Halloween junk journal things, there wouldn't be anything on here other than a few tendrils, but I guess I guess fate or karma kind of worked now. Now if I add too much to that, I don't want to take away from what is there.
He blesses more. <clears throat> and now I'm thinking that that needs just <coughs> a little touch. I was breathing mountain and lake air. <coughs> Excuse me. This has made me quite happy, primarily because of the work done for me by this uh, black velvet silver 3 8 inch striper. by what happened when I moved that green combination through the black. I had no idea that I was going to get something so unplanned and so lovely. And I'm happy that I listened to my muse and did less is more with some uh, Halloweenish colors. But I do hope that you have enjoyed spending this time with me. And if you have, I would appreciate your giving me a thumbs up, leaving a comment, sharing with a friend, and I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Let's have a, a bit of a close-up now of the Mission Gold colors on the background. I don't know. There are times that watercolor is absolutely the best thing since indoor plumbing. Look at the way that look at the way that water and that pigment moved. And this is not good watercolor paper at all. And look what happened. A happy surprise in art. Bye-bye. <laughs>